G'day guys, Wayne and Judy from Down Under here. Hello everyone. Now in this time and age, with the uh, COVID-19 issue and everyone going into lockdown, um, we're going to introduce you to something that could possibly give you a little bit of something to do on those quiet moments. What we have here is this is a lucid. This is what the Vikings would have used back in the early days for making all their cords, making ropes. So this is the Viking lucid. It started off in the 11th century. It um, lost favour for a while but then came back in about the 17th century and it's been pretty strong since. So they would have used this with their flax or something like that. They would have put it through it a first time and then they would have got something like this which is just a, a thin rope or a twine. And we've modified it and we've taken it from a single end and we've made a larger end on this. So when you put that single through there that you then actually get a rope or a nice solid cord. So what we'll be looking at here is we're looking at the single lucid. This is something we've made, something very, very easy. You can see the design. You can even do it with your two fingers. So also known as finger knitting. So you've got the lucid there, and then we've got this one here, <coughs> is the double-ended lucid. So you've got the small end, and then the large end. And then this is one of our little innovations, where you've gone from small to a four. And this brings it out nice and thick. It brings out a nice, thick, solid-looking rope. That would be ideal for dog leads and things like that. So you can put all types of mediums through these lucids. You can put wool, you can put t-shirt fabric, you can put light cord, just so many different things. So what we're going to do is show you actually how to thread one of these. We do have quite a few different styles here. So we've got the lucid here and what we do is we put the thread through the hole and we hold it at the back like this. You then come up and you go a figure eight around that. So you can see you've got a figure eight. So what we'll do then is we'll just go round once and hold it. We'll grab the bottom, pull it over the top and this one, pull it over the top and then we'll pull it down. So again we'll go round again. So you can see it really is very simple, very easy to operate. Just do a couple, just to give you a bit of an idea of what it comes out like. Now you can see how quick and easy this one is. Right, so you can see just in that short period of time we've done a quite a nice braid there. So this actually makes a nice square style knot. So that's your lucid, which is a pretty straightforward, easy thing to do. Something easy at home. You may have admired my bow web or my necklace. And this one here was actually made from chunky wool, we just put it through the thick end of one of these and look at that beautiful, here you can see how beautiful and square that is. But again, this is just an ancient craft or an ancient art which hopefully will be able to um, help you out in this time. 
if you don't have some wool or if, again you can get some t-shirts and cut it up and make your own t-shirt fabric t-shirt yarn and make that recycling yes or you could give grandma a ring chances are she might even have some wool laying around home it'll be able to help you out so that's our looser and hopefully that'll be able to hope it'll help you out and possibly give you a little something to do and um, good luck and stay safe so it's Wayne and Judy from Down Under saying thank you very much and see you later thank you and bye bye